mate, look at this. Look at this. Um, it's been a long few weeks. Uh, I don't know about you, I feel aged. I look at least 16 now. No, but it's, it's been weeks where many of you will have faced and felt fear and trepidation about the future we all love. But when I look at a crowd like this, united with optimism and determination and resilience, I know this country has a future, and my word, it is a future worth fighting for. And however we voted, all of us are part of building that future, and that's what this is all about. Now, friends, there was a myth thrown at this rally by our opponents, and they're worth just taking off. They're telling us that we're attacking people who voted leave, millions of decent people in this country who did so. But that's just not true. Instead, we're taking on the politicians who led the leave campaign, who based their entire campaign on lies and stirring up bigotry in this country. Those are the people we're taking on. Those are the people. How dare they? How dare they? 350 million pounds extra a week for our National Health Service. 350 million. And now we know, not only was that to get a lie, a sham as we all knew at the time, but the NHS now faces cops, as the reports have shown, over the next coming years. It was a lie. And then, immigration. You know what? We should have a sensible, national, rational conversation about immigration. But that's not what we were offered in that campaign. Betraying foreigners as criminals and murderers and terrorists and rapists. Lying about Turkey joining the European Union, which is not going to happen in the lifetime of anybody in this crowd. That we would be swamped with Turkish criminals. How dare they? And actions have consequences. We know what those consequences are. A rise in racism and xenophobia. People abused on the streets. A surge in hate crimes. So one of the most important things we all have to do now is tell people in this country, whether they're uh, from a different background, a different country, that we will stand against the tide of xenophobia and racism that those politicians stirred up. And we will defeat that racism and xenophobia. We will drive it from our streets. We will drive it from our country. And the xenophobes and the racists will lose that they lost every single time in the past. That's what we all have to do. All of us. Now, friends, I'm not immigration. Look, I'm from Stockport that narrowly voted to remain, but the far of Stockport, where I'm from, voted to leave. And there are many problems where I grew up, but very few immigrants. There was a lack of affordable housing, a lack of secure jobs, wages stagnating or falling, public services under attack. It wasn't immigrants like Polish care workers and Indian doctors and Spanish nurses who caused those problems. It's the politicians who didn't build the housing. It's the politicians who didn't defend the jobs. It's the politicians who didn't defend living standards. And it's the politicians who got our services. They're the ones to blame. Not immigrants who keep this country ticking day after day after day. And finally, finally, there's the other attack we have, that we are petulant children throwing our toys out the farm because we didn't get what we wanted. But friends, nothing could be further from the truth. We're told all the time, now Brexit means Brexit. But here's the thing, we don't know what that means, and more worryingly, neither do they. They don't even have the faintest clue, not one, about the future of this country. And it is up to us, however we voted, the millions who voted to remain or leave, we all have a stake in this future. And all of us should be consulted about what our relationship with Europe is in the future. Every single one of us counts. You don't have an election where, in a general election, where one party wins, then the opposition goes, oh, we lost, so we'll just shut up now for the next five years. We'll pack up shop, we'll support what they do. That's not what democracy is. Democracy is about freedom of expression. And all of us are exercising the freedom of expression our ancestors fought for at such cost and such sacrifice. So friends, to wrap up, to wrap up, millions voted to leave partly as anger and frustration at a society that is unjust. We didn't like the protest against it, but it still stands that this is an unjust country brimming with anger and resentment. 
And it is a country above all else that needs one thing and one thing more than anything else. Hope. Hope that we can build a different sort of society. A just society, an equal society, a fair society. Not a society where we blame immigrants for all the problems, but where we hold the powerful to account. So in the coming months and in the coming years, all of us have that responsibility to go out into our communities, to the people who don't turn up to demonstrations like this, in that proud tradition of our ancestors, like the people who fought for workers' rights, like the people who fought for the rights of women to vote, the people who fought for the welfare state and the National Health Service. We stand on the shoulders of giants. Everything we've ever won in this country, our rights and freedoms, not given to us, by the powerful, but fought for by people like you marching in the streets and making your voice heard. So let's have that determination, let's have that courage, let's have that resilience, and let's build a different country run in the interest of the majority. Thank you.